Hi all, RetroTech Chris here again. Recently, I made a video where I showed booting DOS 622 off of an NT 4.0 server. And today I'm going to show you the same thing with Windows 95. Here we have my 486DX4 with a 3Com Etherlink 3 with a boot ROM. And you can see it searching for an RPL server and eventually asking for a username to log in to the NT 4.0 server and then doing a remote boot of Windows 95. I've sped things up a bit. But here you can see where we can log in with a username and password, and then we're told we're not logging into a domain. That is fine. But before too terribly long, we see we have the Windows 95 desktop. How cool is that? So here's the configuration on the NT 4.0 side where I have a profile for my Windows 95 boot system. Now this procedure to do this is actually quite lengthy. 700 lines in total because one of the things that we actually had to do was create several virtual machines. And I also tried to completely virtualize the client, but unfortunately ran into a couple of problems. The first problem is this nice Windows protection error for NDIS, which is easily solved by pulling a file from the Fix95 CPU distribution that somebody has so nicely put together. Here I am cracking open an image file and finding an NDIS file that we can drag over to the NT 4.0 server where we remote boot Windows 95. Great. So from there, I went ahead and tried again, but unfortunately, I could not find a way to get past this error. So I put a placeholder in the procedure for now, but unfortunately, it is not complete. Maybe we can figure this out in the future. To be continued.